Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is a beautiful day here. It's gorgeous. Oh, there's some deer right back there. See him? You see movement back there. Oh, the boys are here stealing my duck corn again. I put that out for the ducks and the turkeys. My ducks and turkeys and the deer come over and steal it all. That's why they're always hanging around here. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I just stepped on a stick. I am outside right now. This is an actual on time almost my favorite things for July. I wanted to start just with my phone because I have some things to show you in my new kitchen first. No, my kitchen is not done. That's a whole other mess. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I talk about whatever I want to talk about. I jokingly say I'm kind of a lifestyle channel, but not totally, but I do lean heavy on makeup and skincare and love doing makeup, need to do more makeup. I love doing unboxings. I think I like to unbox makeup more than I actually wear it. There's going to be a 400 sub giveaway in our imminent future. I see it happening. So you want to stick around for that, please like and subscribe. If you want to see some fun stuff on your channel, unexpected things, deer, dogs, chickens, turkeys, baby ducklings. I got to do a baby chicken duck update. They're getting big. But today is all about my favorite things for July. And it is a beautiful end of July day here. So let's get going. Well, we're starting off in my kitchen because these are lilies from my garden. And I want you to see how big they are. This is my hand, hand for scale. Aren't these amazing? I'm kind of bummed, these little brown spots. There were some bugs on my lily plant. I was very upset they were eating them. So I did cut this one and bring it in. And this thing is so strong. Excuse, all this stuff is, excuse that. We're in the process of remodeling the kitchen. Look, there's my handles for my drawers. Uh, so these are from my garden. Love them. They are so strong that I can smell them all the way up my hallway, all the way down there. They are gorgeous. I'm watching out in the garden to see if I have any more open because I'd like to fill this space up a little. I have yellow, orange, and red ones, so that's my number one favorite thing right now of July is my lilies opening. And I have my Absolute Scents Smoked Old Fashioned Candle next to it. This is from a local distillery called Silverback. Silverback Distillery is only about 10 or 15 from, minutes from my home. And this is a hand-poured soy blend and smoked old-fashioned. If you don't know what an old-fashioned is, it's a whiskey drink. This just has a really, a really nice scent to it, though. It doesn't smell like booze. It doesn't smell like smoke. It's just a really pleasant fragrance. And it's not floral, so it kind of counteracts because I don't want a floral scent with all these lilies. Okay, we're up. That's where my island's gonna go. I know you wanna see the kitchen. Everyone be nice, cause it's in progress, it's not done. Here it is so far, still in progress. Uh, we have to get the window frame. The lights are not up under all of the shelves yet. The shelves are not organized at all. I just have things up there. My microwave is not here yet because we got another broken microwave. Two microwaves in a row got shipped to us broken. So everything is up. The electrical is run up through here. The bracket's up. We're waiting for the next microwave. Third time's a charm. Waiting for it to show up next Thursday. Yes, I love my kitchen. I love my shelves. This is all my Death Wish coffee cup collection. This is where the puck lights are going to go in. We have L uh, LED puck lights that will be totally recessed so you won't see them. You won't see a little puck sticking out. They're going to sink in and be flat. Here's my sink with my brush cleaner. Speaking of brush cleaners, first favorite thing for July. This is an Eco Tools Clean Beauty Clean Planet Makeup Brush and Sponge Shampoo for a deep leakly cleanse. You see I have my brushes here and I am obsessed with cleaning brushes. I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know why I find it really relaxing. This is what I was using, the Sephora Deep Clean Solid, Solid Brush and Sponge Cleaner. It's a little cake that's in here, kind of, for lack of a better word. So there's a cakey, it's kind of like a block of soap. And then there's a little thing here to swirl your brushes around on. So you get your brush wet, you do 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 And this one is great. I actually like the way this smells. I like this one a lot, but then, I got this Eco Tools. I like that it's fragrance free, but look at all the good stuff about this. Free of parabens, free of phthalates, free of fragrance, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, and it does have a little leaping buddy, cruelty free, recyclable, and vegan, which I don't know why soap wouldn't be unless it has goat's milk or honey in it, but this stuff is great. 
I have, you can hear, I used a lot of it. I actually was just totally addicted to this stuff, and now I'm using this. And this is another thing from one of my collab friends from Beautifying MZ. Mary sent me this in the uh, Beach Day collab. And this is a little popsicle, but it's a little scrubby thing that I have in my sink to scrub my brushes on. It's It's got little suction cups, so it doesn't go all over the place. It does not stay in my sink at all times. I had to wash my brushes, and I just thought, well, this is one of my favorite things. So either one of these is good if you're looking for a brush cleaner. If you have Sephora points, get one of these. I think they're they're not that expensive. I have not looked this one up online or anywhere, but it is by Eco Tools, which I think, don't they sell Eco Tools at Ulta? Pretty sure they do. I will find a link and put it below. But it says wash brushes and sponges once a week. I usually wash mine as soon as I use them. Speaking of washing, da da da. You know there is no way I would have all this coolness going on in my kitchen and not have some kind of soap that looks cool on my counter. This is just from Target but it's the Method Yuzu hand wash, and then this is the dish soap. Really nice scent, and it was on sale buy one, get one, this past Sunday at Target, and I thought, you know what? They The black mat matches my whole kitchen aesthetic, so yeah, we're gonna get those. And I also have the little eco friendly walnut scrubber that they have there. A Grove Collaborative Reusable Cloth. It looks like kind of paper, but it's like a bamboo thing. And you can use it, wash it. It's it's almost like a reusable paper towel. That's pretty cool. Speaking of Grove, I have a little brush scrubber. And I have one of my favorite hand sanitizers by Grove is Blood Orange with um, coconut oil. This smells so good. I have used so much of this. This one is about, yeah, it's about halfway gone now. So I always keep a hand sanitizer here, even though I have all this. And I do have my straw cleaners in here to clean my reusable straws because I don't use plastic straws at home and I try not to use them while I'm out. So yeah, these are some of my favorite cleaning things that also match my kitchen. I think that's about it for the kitchen right now. Love my little brush scrubbies. I love my brush cleaning regimen. Oh, look what else is here. Another favorite thing for this month. Yeah, it's huge. Look how huge this water thing is. So it's 7 a.m. Good morning. Hydrate yourself. Remember your goal. Keep chugging. Feeling awesome. Don't give up. Almost finished. You did it. By the time I get to you did it, I've probably gone to the bathroom about 15 times. It has this really cool paracord handle on it. The straw comes out. So I could take the straw out and close this. And it does have like a little locking mechanism too on this. So you can lock it so it won't pop open. Go like that and it won't open. And then I go like this and boing and it pops open and here's the straw. So I keep the straw in it and it sits on my counter and I know I, I actually just filled it this afternoon so I haven't even started doing this today but this is going to be a new August regimen. I am going to see how much water I can drink every day. My husband and I always talk about how we're not drinking enough water so there we go. Giving you a little sneak peek at some of the kitchen as well. So let's go outside and look at some of my favorite other things this month. And we're outside and can you see the sky behind me? Let me just get the camera here. Look at this beautiful day here. It's 73 degrees and it is absolutely gorgeous out. Rusty is actually laying on the little bed. So this is my little full-time patient. She is going to be 18 in October. She's hanging in there. She loves laying in the sun, but I time it. Let's see, my favorite thing for this month and every month, Rusty, the baby girl, scratching her face. Let's get on with this. I have my favorite little pink basket. I reuse this so much. I use this thing all the time. It's so easy to fit all my stuff in, or if I'm gonna do makeup outside or something. I have all kinds of stuff in here. So let's see what's in here. First, we're gonna start with the thing that's not in the bag. I have to be careful with this. This is all of my different things, my sand discs for my cameras, but this is my Arthurine trinket plate from Menagerie Cosmetics. And they only made like so many of these and I wanted this so badly. The artist is uh, at Puffy Gator, P-U-F-F-Y-G-A-T-O-R, does their covers and their artwork. I love the Arthurine blush palette there. So when I saw that this was a trinket plate, I was like, yeah, I gotta have it. I always am losing all my little cards and these little adapter things. I need these handy when I'm doing videos and putting them on my computer. So I put these in here for now, but you could put your rings on here. You could put a makeup sponge, whatever. That is one of my favorite things I got in July. Speaking of Menagerie, Texture Tuesdays with Menagerie, if you don't know, they make these whipped body soaps. So this is Banana Split Sky Whip. This one is notes of banana, creamy vanilla, and sweet cherry. I need like a case of this. You can see how much I've used. 
So this is a whipped body soap that they make. It's really pretty when you first see it. It actually looks like it just came out of one of those big frosting things, like cake decorations. Words cannot describe how good this smells. <laughs> It's one of those things like I look forward to taking a shower and I can't wait to take a shower tonight just to use this. It feels so good. It smells great. And this banana sky whip, I'm not kidding. I need like a case of these. Oh yeah, this is one of the first ones I bought. So this one's going to expire soon. They do have expiration dates on them. I mean, this goes fast. I open one of these and it's gone in a week. I think I have five or six of the scents now. I have them all in my drawer in my bathroom. So I go through these a lot. I love if you haven't tried them and you're a fan of Menagerie, try the uh, whipped soaps. They're excellent. Also in the shower department, we are in the shower department, shower heavy this month. I keep this cleanser in my shower. This is the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Gel Cleanser with BHA and Brazilian Seawater. It's hard to tell from the bottle, but it's down to there. <laughs> I've used half of it. This is what I just keep in my shower. You know when you're in your shower and you're like, crap, I want to wash my face and I don't have a cleanser in here and you don't want to just use your body soap, although I'm sure you could with this. It's like really it's handmade it's natural but you want to use like a nice just a nice cleanser yes ma'am oh okay so this is what happens see rusty trying to stand up i need to help her out you ready to get up we always say get your legs you got your legs okay you're gonna go back in and i'm back so this is what I do all day. <laughs> she makes a little sound. That's when she wants to get up or want something. Anyway, this you can get at Target. And it is excellent. Cruelty-free and vegan. All the blisses. Recyclable container. All things I love. I love bliss. I actually got into them last year when Manny MUA first started talking about them. I love this. I use it almost every day in the shower. Also, shower. A few more things. I kept getting these stupid spongel things, right? They come in. Do they come in FabFitFun? We might have got them in BoxyCharm. This is the Manny Petty set one. This is a white one. This one smells really good. This is Gilded Rose. But I kept getting these, and I think I have three or four of them now from various FabFitFun, BoxyCharms, whatever, from all last year. I had this whole collection of these. I thought, you know, I should probably start using these because they're just taking up room in my closet. They lather up. There's actually soap kind of built into these. So there's a exfoliating side and there's a spongy side. One thing I like is in the shower, I set it on its side like this so the sponge doesn't get icky and it dries really well. This one is specifically a Manny Petty one. Now I see why everybody's all about these spongel, spongelly, spongel. Look, it has an E, a, a thing over the E, which in, when you speak French, that means it has a long E, so it'd be spongelle, <laughs> spongelle in French. So you can use this about seven times. I think this one I'm on about five, but it really is in good shape. And I'm not necessarily going to just toss it. If it's still good, I can use some of my regular soap on here. Liking that, I've had them from last fall, I think, and over the winter, and I just never really... Uh, I'm like, maybe I should use these. Speaking of things I should use, remember, I will put a card up here. I got this Solu shampoo, clarifying shampoo, and I talked about how it strips your hair color out. You can see that I'm going more and more blonde every day. Look how much of this I have used. Over half of it. <laughs> love this stuff. I will tell you why. I love the scent. God, I really like the smell. I love the way it feels. It's this company called Devines or Divines. It's uh, Italian. We made this whole thing. D-A-V-I-N-E-S dot com. Made in Italy. And I just warned that this will strip color. It does strip my color, in fact. But it also strips all the goo and the buildup of any styling products out of my hair. So my hair has actually, I'll take my hat off for a minute, it's been behaving really well. And other than it looks fried right now because I have to redo my color, this makes my hair feel so good. And I was telling you in the last video when I talked about clarifying shampoo, I said, you know, you don't want to necessarily use a clarifying shampoo every time you wash your hair, unless, unless, unless you're trying to lighten a color. I have been using this every shampoo because I'm trying to strip this color out as much as I can without harsh chemicals. And it has been doing great. I am very happy with it. In fact, I would like to get more of this and just keep it around for when I want to strip some color out or when I just want to strip styling products. I can attest to this strips out styling products really well, but it's not harsh. It doesn't make your hair feel all dry and icky. My hair actually feels and looks healthier for using this. That doesn't happen with a lot of clarifying shampoos for me. I'll use a clarifying shampoo and it just like makes my hair feel like straw. Not this one. I love this. I am so glad I got it. I'm so glad I wasn't afraid to try it, but I wasn't afraid of stripping my color either so I said I was kind of like the guinea pig for this it will strip your color but I do love it so just be aware of that but if you're looking for something to get styling build up out of your hair 
This is your girl. And more, more shower things. I, I'm loving my showers this month. I've been so stressed out, like I was saying, taking care of my dogs and Rusty especially, staying up all night with her, that my shower is kind of my little self-care happy time. So I did kind of fill it with all my favorite products and some really nice soaps and nice things for myself. Some days that's all I can do for myself is just enjoy my shower. <laughs> And then I'm taking care of animals and especially Rusty all day and night. This is not about the soap. This is about the bag. The bag is what I'm here to talk about. And this is 100% organic cotton made in India hand wash only. It's a little soap bag by Grove. And it's night. It's softening up a little bit more every time I use it. But it's basically like an exfoliating thing to keep your soap in. Loving this little bag from Grove. Took me a little while to try it. I think I had it in my bathroom for like a month in the bag. And I finally said, you know, I should probably try this. So this is another thing I've been doing. A lot of exfoliating in the shower. Let's stick with this next. You've seen this candle on my channel at least twice before. <laughs> It came up when I was doing Guess the Cereal Smell Candle with Jeremy. I will put a card up for that too. This is the I Love My Fur Babies More Than Most People infused with an unhealthy level of attachment. This is by Malicious Women Candle Company. I adore them. If you're snarky and sarcastic, this is your company. Malicious Women Company established 2017. I love the things they write on these. It's a, This is called Fruity Loops. This straight up smells like a bowl of Fruit Loops, and I have tested so many Fruit Loop candles and Fruity Pebbles candles. This is the truest. This is the winner by far. Plus, I love, I love my fur babies more, more than most people. No offense to people, but you know, unhealthy level of attachment. We have a 45 hour burn time cotton wick, 100% organic soy, maliciouswomenco.com link below. They have so many funny candles. They are great for gifts. But the lid says, my love is like this candle. If you leave me undetended, I will burn your house down. I love them. This is a great candle. I can't stop smelling it. It's about halfway down now. This is next to my bed at all times. I've had it for a while now, but I pulled it back out to show Jeremy in June. And then I was like, why did I put this away? And now it's back on my nightstands. Let's go a little post shower here. Everybody knows this, the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I got this in, I think a boxy, but I finally almost used it all. We almost have Project Pan on this little guy. And I really like it. And I love, it does have a strong smell. I mean, it's it's a good smell, but it's relatively strong. So if you don't like a really strong smell, maybe see if you know somebody who has this or if you can get a sample somehow, anything. It is strong, but I love the smell. A lot of people love the smell. Next, after you're out of the shower and you want to do some makeup, well, I have two lip balms here. And one is I'm Project Panning. Recognize this girl? with the black lips. This is the iconic, iconic Pat McGrath Labs Lip Fetish Lip Balm in Noir. That's it. She's almost gone. Oh, this is on my nightstand. And yes, I put it on every night before I go to sleep. It's not cheap and I'm going to use it. Will I buy it again? Probably not because I have so many lip balms, but I am going to use this until there is a stump or I'm using a brush and carving it out of there. I'm not going to waste a drop Oh, not even a speck of this because it is so good. I really like it. It's really hydrating. And speaking of hydrating, I had to share this one with everybody. This is the Banana Balm Lip Sheen 3-in-1 Smoothing Luster Hydration Lana Lips. You might know Manny MUA is all about Lana Lips. He's obsessed with it. He talks about it all the time. But this is a Lip Sheen 3-in-1 Banana Balm. Oh my God. If you like banana... And I do. You don't even have to take it out. You open it and it smells, and it doesn't smell like fake banana smell. It actually smells like a banana. It smells so good. It doesn't have that like chemically gross banana smell, but it does say, you know, it's it's very natural. No artificial fragrances against animal testing made in Australia. It just has a sheen to it. Really clear. I mean, it's just straight up clear. If you're looking for color, no, but if you want to smell banana all day and have gorgeous lips, Lana Lips Banana Balm. You can get these, I believe they're on Ulta. They have, I have about five different Lana Lips products. Let me know if you want to hear about them. I will do a Lana Lips review. Banana ladies and gentlemen, there you go. I present to you Lana Lips Banana Balm. You can thank me later. One of my favorites, especially in the summer. Getting ready to get into a little bit of makeup product. You could tell I've used this. I reviewed this also. This is the Flower Beauty Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. So this is Drew Barrymore's line, Flower Beauty, and this is her priming whip. And it's a primer, but it's like a mousse. 
it's really light. It's really foamy. It reminds me so much of like hair styling mousse. It doesn't really have a scent. It's really clean. I use this a lot. Make sure you shake it. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not crazy. It's not insane sheen. Love this. I got this at CVS. This stuff is good. If you're looking for a drugstore primer, if you can find this, I really like this. I've not wear tested it so much. I think this is going to be one of the primers I do in a wear test because I haven't wear tested this, so I'd like to try it. But I love the way it feels. I love the finish. Now, keep in mind this says diffuses fine lines and pores, and it's like soothing and rejuvenating. What does that say to you? That does not say you're putting a mask on. This is a little bit, you know, think Drew Barrymore. More natural, lighter. So this is a good day-to-day. -day. Really nice, light primer that you can get at the drugstore. Speaking of, my other favorite, Get Real Serum Foundation. So obviously not super heavy. This is medium buildable coverage. This is truly buildable. Natural radiant finish. So these work really well together. If you want to grab something at the drugstore, you really have to shake this. And if you don't use it all the time, make sure you really mix this. These are those things like I get up, wash my face, do some moisturizer or whatever, put this on, put this on. And if you don't even want to wear anything else, this just kind of evens out your complexion and you're like radiant. This is no makeup makeup right here. A couple more makeup things. This little milk makeup, I believe this came in Ipsy and it was a little sample of the milk makeup. I have some on my lip. This is Lip and Cheek and Shade Work from Milk Makeup. I love that it is little tiny. It's a little tiny balm and it just goes up like this and there's not a lot in there but you don't need a lot of this and i like that i can use this up over the summer and the fall and recycle this and i'm done and i can try something else but i do like this would i ever buy a whole full size i don't know i wish i could just buy these minis like this you use it as you need it but it's not like you have tons of stuff everywhere love this i love this shade it's so natural the drew barrymore flower beauty with this lip cheek you can even put this on your eyelids a little bit boom done now getting into a little bit heavier makeup Look, where has this been our whole lives? The Glam Light Icing, Icing, see what they did there? Eyeshadow base, this is the white. You've seen me use this in my goth makeup look video. I will be using this more. You will be seeing a lot more of this girl. And I think I'm gonna compare this in the P. Louise just because people tend to not want to use P. Louise because the P stands for problematic. People have reasons, their own reasons, and that's absolutely valid if you don't want to use P. Louise. I'm not gonna judge if you do, I'm not gonna judge if you don't, you do you. Everybody has a level of what they're comfortable with, with creators, and I completely understand, believe me. Which is why I'm glad there's Glam Light. It's called White Frosting. I love this eye base. I'm getting to the point where I only like white eye bases now. I'm, I'm turning into a drag queen. I don't know, but I love white eye base. It's just, if I see a color in a pan, I want that color on my eye. This will help you do that. It's like a clean slate, and then you put that shade on, especially the pastel shades and the lighter shades use a white eye base it's a game changer use the icing i do not have an affiliate link for this but amy loves and amy loves makeup if you go on any of her videos she has affiliate links she has an affiliate link with glam light a lot of other indie makeup people do so check that out she's a big supporter of this brand and i support this brand i need my affiliate code from them because i think i own everything they make i got this and it just reminded me like i love glam light so much and using that red velvet cupcake in my gothamus glam look love this love that red velvet so lots more glam light not quite last, but this Powerpuff Girls, I did just get this, so, but I'm counting it in July because I love this. ColourPop from the Powerpuff Girls collection. I did use this Princess Morbucks, and I love this liner. If you go back, again, another link, my ColourPop review of Powerpuff Girls. I wore this eyeliner for 14 hours, and it did not smudge. How is this possible, ColourPop? And they're so reasonable. This one, highly recommend. This is such a pretty blue. I, I'll just swatch it really quick in case you missed it on my video, but oh my God. I don't know how it doesn't budge. It's kind of blendable. You can see, so you can smoke it out. You can kind of blend it out. And if you want to do kind of smoky underneath, look how nice that blends. Gorgeous. And it doesn't smear off. There's my finger that I blended with. Really, there's not much more I can say about this. Whether or not you like the Powerpuff Girls, you're probably going to see me using a lot of new palettes and reaching for the three Powerpuff Girls color sticks because I'm obsessed with these now. I can't wait to do a look with him and with Mojo Jojo, though. Who knew that a metallic blue was going to turn into, from Colourpop, was going to turn into one of my favorite eye colors. Something you never see me talk about, this is Reticle Rockstar. This is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. The reason I put this in is this is such a great summer color. 
it's hard to show you, but it is on my toenails right now. I really like this. I don't even know when I got this or why I got this, but I put this on my toenails about a week ago and they still look great. I'm probably gonna touch them up. I got a couple little chips. It might read orange on the camera, but it is, it's a cherry red. Let me put it that way. It's cherry with maybe a little bit of warmth to it. I think that's why I like this in different lights. Sometimes it looks a little more like a tomato red. Sometimes it looks like a cherry red. Out here in this light to me, it looks like cherry red. Anyway, love it, who knew? Again, the last thing I have is really strange and really random, but I'm just obsessed with it and I need to talk about it because how much do we love TJ Maxx anyway, right? This is a two-in-one shampoo for dogs. Shampoo and conditioner with coconut oil and rose oil. It's Home and Body Company, Huntington Beach, California. I like that it's gluten and paraben free. So if you have a dog that has any kind of skin issues, be careful of the rose oil if you do. I've never had a dog have problems with rose oil. Avoid contact with eyes. If contact occurs, rinse thoroughly with water. So you don't want to be getting rose oil in your dog's eyes. So that's the only thing for the average pet owner. Now, I see these at TJ Maxx occasionally and the last time I was there I bought four of these. The reason why is because I'm a dog groomer. This was it says compare at $11. It was $6.99 for 28 fluid ounces. It smells so good. It really doesn't smell like pure rose. It just smells clean. I like that it's a shampoo and a conditioner and it's nourishing so if you have a dog with dry skin just be aware that it has the oatmeal, but it does have rose. So if you have any kind of rose issues or you could maybe wash a paw with this if you're worried they have a skin sensitivity. I don't know how much luck anybody's gonna have in finding this at a TJ Maxx around them, but if you see it, unscrew the cap, take a smell. I love this. I use it for all the dogs I groom. Again, not my dogs and no one, knock on wood. Nobody's had a skin issue, nobody's had a problem. I use it on my dogs, absolutely love it. But I go through a lot of shampoo, obviously, so I buy as many of these as they have. If they had a gallon bottle, I'd buy it. For $7 for this much, I get a lot of washes out of this. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there. I use this all the time. This is a new bottle. I used a little bit of it, but I've gone through two or three bottles of this already. So I'm not saying this just out of the blue, like, oh, I just bought it and used it once. No, I've been using this since last year. <laughs> if you can find this, again, I will put a link below, homeandbodyco.com. I have not been on their website to look for this or anything but they're out of Huntington Beach, California. They might be associated with, with um, Home Goods and TJ Maxx and all that. You know, some of these companies, they just, they sell a bunch of stuff to them. So I haven't really looked that deep into it. I love it. And the next time I go to TJ Maxx, I'm gonna look for more. I'm gonna look for more at Home Goods. Sometimes I find it different places. So check your TJ Maxx, check Home Goods. Look for dog shampoos there though, because you can get some really good quality dog shampoos at those. You heard it from a groomer. That's it. I hope you liked this weird little review of my favorite things from this month. You'll notice again, not a lot of makeup in here. I do have some eyeshadow. But I was gonna put the Powerpuff Girls one in here because I really liked it. And there was a couple other palettes I really liked. I was gonna put in my July faves but I want to use them a little bit more in August so you may set, you may see some of the things from July that I've used makeup wise like the potion palette I've only used them once and I really don't want to put them in July faves I want to do a couple more looks with them and then we'll see what goes in my August favorites so hopefully you enjoyed this let me know if there's anything that you think looks really interesting I know a lot of people are gonna look for this banana balm Lana lips. so if you're gonna buy one thing out of all this I'd say the flower beauty my highest recommended I would say the Flower Beauty, the Menagerie Sky Whips. If you can find them, they sell out fast. Get on their emails, look for when they do restock. These are hard to get sometimes. That's why I buy like five of them when they go on sale. I have to splurge and buy a bunch of them, but then I have them until the next restock. So just a heads up with that. They're, they're hard to get. Get on their email list and watch their Instagram. And if you do want to try this, just keep your eyes open for it. My other highest rated, Flower Beauty. These are why is everyone not using this? It's at like CVS and everything. It's great. Especially if you don't like a lot of heavy, heavy, like you're wearing a mask makeup. These are both rejuvenating, soothing serum formulas. These are great for the more mature skin, I would say. I like the way these look. I mostly like the way they feel. They don't feel dry and they don't crack and look weird and settle in lines and do all that bad stuff. Highest rated thing, banana balm. Go get you some. Let me know if you try any of this. Comment below and please like, please subscribe. And I can't wait to do August already because I already have so many things to play with. We might have a two hour long favorites in August. I'm going to get ready to get all my stuff back together and I'm going to have another cleansing, rejuvenating shower tonight. Have a good week. I love you all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my favorite things. Maybe they'll become your favorite things. See you in the next one. Bye.